I mean, like, that came out before the internet, so I didn't know of what type of personality you would have at all. I mean, when I met, we had locks, long locks and everything, and he was cool, and he was always confident. Like, I met him, he was confident in his work, and he had a right to be a confident. He was a legend at this time already. You know, he, I was trying to be a legend. He was already set as a legend. So it was like, he was just really cool with me, man. Like, he didn't, he was confident, but he wasn't arrogant. He talked the shit, the truth, and he was uncensored. And he was raw with it. And I, anytime he talking, I'm gonna listen. Like, that's my OG. Like, I'm gonna pay attention. Anyone who reached that plateau of life, and he was the same way. Like, he bucked the system. He didn't do it through the system. He didn't do it through academia. He didn't do it through the galleries. He did that shit a self dependent like a business. And I respected that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. You know, like, if he can do that, I can do that. You know? Like, that's what kind of set me on my path to, like, want to have as many pieces he was doing. Like, I seen all those pieces everywhere I went to this day. I go home or anywhere, his work is majority like man it was just crazy. everywhere I go I every time I still go where I still text a picture like yo I'm in somebody's house look take a picture send it to him you know no matter where I'm at in the country no matter where I'm at in the country I haven't seen not one artist outside more work in their homes than him to this day you know what I'm saying except for maybe me I'm coming after him you know but he <laughs> but I can't go he got this so many years above me, man. So many years above me. That, but it's still a good goal to reach. I don't try to have his. That's why I just switched mine to originals. Because <laughs> there's no way hell I could get more prints than him or anything. And that he pioneered that game, man, of duplicating your work, selling it, and then doing all these different price points uh, that everybody can afford it. You know what I'm saying? It was just like a magnificent thing to see. That every or he opened up the door for ordinary people to have art in their house, you know, and that shit was just mind blowing to me. People, you know, will buy a reproduction. I didn't think people would buy a reproduction. It was that it was a gallery that sold reproduction. Mm. It wasn't a fine art original, mm. you know, space. But in the mid '90s, that was real hot. You know, there was several million dollar plus black artists at that time, from Annie Lee to Charles Bills to even Gilbert Young. Mm. These were like household names on a national level mm -hmm. and I was just in Chicago and on a local level. Yeah. So I had my popularity, my local popularity, but I didn't understand that dynamic till, you know, much later. I friendship, everything is he take the time out to come to Peter Street and he would take time out to talk to young artists coming up and giving them all the pointers they need. They don't need to hear from me all the time. Like I'm pretty sure I sound like a broken record to the young people. Like, oh my God, you gonna see, he go, he, he, there you go, blah, blah, blah. But if you hear from someone of someone else of that caliber, it just really means a lot, man. And I'm really thankful for him to go take the time out. Yo, he even buy my uh, artist art supplies. He bring art supplies over there and drop them off. Like, man, that shit be dope. And that shit mean a lot to them, mean a lot to me. And it just, it's really, it's really dope. It's really dope. I love to see him connect with young artists. I just honestly, truly love to see I mean we all know him as our age but to see the young people embrace him listen to his word and hang off his every word it's very very like motivational for me art department at a school that don't have no supplies and be like yeah here you know what I'm saying because how you gonna have an art department you ain't got no damn supplies yeah. like you know it's, it's like it, it's like like some of this stuff is just is just necessary and as a culture, if we don't support our own, if we don't like for me, I want the next young creative, that next that next hot person to be like, Yeah, dude was cool. He had mass support. He was just good people. Like I don't want him to like how I felt about a few of mine, like, yeah, I, you know, later for dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't show me no love. Yeah. You know. And, and that's what happened my first time out. I know how much that hurt me and damaged me, but it also enraged me. What do you think whack means to the culture? Um, whack means to the culture to me, independence. Clearly black as hell, but independence and ownership. That's the number one thing. Like like I say, he went against the system. He do, he do it his way and he make 100% his profit. Every artist needs to be on that. 
You know what I'm saying? He like a one man show. And that's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like to me it's like that's amazing. His longevity. Like you study his work, study his longevity. Study how long he's still relevant. Study how like the work has evolved. Yeah, so it's just like it's an artist, man. Like this he's a legend. Like he's a legend. Like you know, people call me one, but shit. Like <laughs> I was sitting in my I never remember sitting in that project sad and broke. But I had my whack piece in the house to show me like, okay, I got let me step step my shit up. Cause the shit was uplifting as hell. Like all this work was super uplifting. So it was just like, yeah man, you know, it was just it was just that I don't know, sell it, it championed black love and it champion and it champion being black. Yeah man, it's it's a journey, bro. It's yeah. something that's um uh, you know, it's so much of attached into your soul if you really you really do this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean it's not it's not a trick, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people approach it like it's a magic trick and shit. And that that to me that's that ain't what this is. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is like yeah, your, it's your being. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's when you put life, your man. when you put your soul out there on the table, butt naked like that, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like every piece of art I'm uncomfortable with. I don't paint shit I'm comfortable with because it ain't art. If I know how it's gonna come out and I'm like, Oh yeah, I know how this one's gonna go and you know, that's just a trick. That's like technical. Yeah. When it's emotional, you know, that's that's a whole nother mm -hmm. that's a whole nother level of exposure. Um and I think to be your authentic self, this is really me. Pretty much every painting I have, no matter what the era was, I can say, yeah, that would have probably been me on that ship. Nah, I probably wouldn't have jumped in the ocean and got ate by the sharks simply because they took my queen. So I'm gonna go ahead and endure so I can have these ancestors. And then my ancestors, one of them will probably be an artist and he'll be standing there one day telling people and painting and showing them how strong we were. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be authentic with yourself, you know? So a lot of the vantage points the artist painted from is just because if they come to my heart as a black man and it came to another black man's heart 400 years ago, you know what I'm saying? We still the same man. Yeah. You know, we just live in a different time. True. Yeah. Is there anything that you want to say to him or any well wishes? One thing I want to tell my love. I love, I love, I love, I love Kevin Williams, bro. Like, he never, he always been there for me when I needed him. And, and not, it's not even about me anymore. When he, when he really come by there to Peter Street Station and talk to those young people, that shit really, 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 really mean the world of me, man. Like, it really mean the world of me. Because they gotta hear from other people outside of myself. And um, I really appreciate that, man. I think he deserve all the flowers in the world, bro. Because, man, he really opened the doors for a lot of us just going above the bucking system right now. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be able, I don't think I would be, or a lot of artists wouldn't be able to do it on their own if they didn't see it done, you know? And uh, I was just lucky I passed crossed. Like, it's destiny in my opinion. And, uh, and anything he needs from me, I'm 100% got his back. I love that, bro. 100%. Never let me down on anything. And he don't have to have to do those anniversary shows and all the stuff he do for us. And he do it without a question. You know, and I think that's very beautiful. And, uh, that's a, a beautiful brother. He deserves everything he get his way. Good family, beautiful wife, fucking money, beautiful home, beautiful cars, all the things that come with uh, enjoying a fruit seal label. He need to deserve everything. I'll be around for a very long time. All right, man. Thanks for your time, man. I appreciate it. Oh, no, man. Thank you. All right, thank you, brother.